Come one, come all to a beautiful show. It's gonna be awesome and some other stuff. <laughs> some other musical stuff. You ghost nuts, motherfucker. Uh, welcome everyone to our special episode today. Merry Easter. Merry what? Easter. Is that even a thing? Fuck it. Oh, it, Happy is, it is now. Um, so we, we got a Easter special. Uh, one year anniversary. It's been a year already, eh? Yep. And um, we, we're br- bringing in the Easter spirit with uh, the topic of discussion today, which is the Vatican. Yep. Vatican, the Vatican City, the Pope, the Pop. The red shoes. Pop it out, flop it out. Pop what out though? That's the question. Mm. George anyway, yeah. yeah. So we got um uh we I'm guiding up uh, my disguise today as the Easter bunny. Yes, you're in the festive spirit. Wait, is fucking festive festivities? Yes, you're in the festive spirit. Yeah, I don't have any uh chocolates with me because uh it probably melt. I was thinking of bringing like some chocolates. But because we're in like a borderline sauna, especially in this outfit, I'm pretty much going to melt soon. Okay. Just like Rudy Giuliani's head. Head. Yeah. yeah. And uh, your you brought your uh, papal gear today. Oh, you know, I just um thought I'd spread the love if you yeah. get what I'm saying. Yeah. And spread this age bracket. I'm just here dressed like a pope. Is this what is this? This is like fucking Whoopi Goldberg, bro. Some may say the black pope, mm-hmm. the walnut pope. Mm. So the uh, we we went for an investigation in the Vatican. I see. I did. I went infiltrating. Um, yeah, this this guy seemed to let me slip through the cracks. Ah, uh, yes. And get some info. Is that a metaphor or? Yes. Okay, and uh, let's hit it off. Uh, we we're gonna hit up. What exactly is the Vatican? People just think it's a church. It is not. Yeah. Some people think it's just a little house a fucking Pope sits in and sleeps in. Okay, you're the Pope. Here's your Vatican mm. free residency. It's more than that, it's mate. It's like they, they, pe- they think it's like the White House equivalent of the, uh, for the Pope. Yeah. But instead of... Well, they both apparently have underage children being <laughs> pushed in and out, allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is more than just a church. It's a, it's a city. It's a state. It's basically its own it's a country. It's government. Yeah. It's a church. It's a buzziness. It's a big buzziness state. It's it, a city, state, country, inside a country. One man, mega country torso. Torso. You want a passport? Here you go. You want some license plates? Here you go. How about we have our own fucking mint and print some euros in the Vatican? Mm. So Jesus is handing out coins and dollar bills now. Allegedly. Euro bills. Yeah. And um and also crime syndicate, drug dealings, mafiosos, and porn. I was, mm. And I was gonna say allegedly, but this is all out in the open. Oh well, last time we were in this uh, similar deja vu situation, uh, we still got fucked by YouTube. But the only difference now is we're not on YouTube. <laughs> we're gone. <laughs> yeah. See you later. So uh, let's hear it. Okay. Yeah. So. Most people don't, might not know this, but the Vatican is a, a city. It's its own city state, Vatican City. It's actually, well, we know it's located in Rome, Italy, right? But it's encircled by a two mile border within Italy. And uh, it's an independent city state, covers like 100 acres. Um, and it's governed as an absolute monarchy with the Pope at its head. Mm. So this is like some what shit. What do you mean by at its head? No, I'm not going to get into that now. Mm. But this is like some supervillain shit you see in a movie. Mm. Some fucking Klaus Schwab bloke in Switzerland's got his own little country the building up in nukes and shit. Yeah. You know? Secret lair with the Pope Mobile. <laughs> have you seen the Pope Mobile? I have. Yeah. Puts a Batmobile to shame. Exactly. And yeah. you know why there's a Pope Mobile? Because there was an assassination attempt on. Uh, Pope John Paul II back in the day. What did they do? Throw holy water at him? Like trying to say he's the devil? Allegedly. Let's go. So yeah, the Vatican, as we said, mints its own euros, um, prints its own stamps, and it's basically governs itself like its own separate country. And you know what the thing about this is? 
it lacks taxation because it is a church. It's a religious thing. That is true. So all the money they collect from all these tourists coming in, mm. fucking museum administration fees, um, stamps, souvenirs, whatever, all this shit, goes back to the Vatican's revenue. No tax. Launder that shit out, No bitch. taxi. No taxi. No taxi. Yeah. The Vatican City has a population of 800 to 900 people, but that is in the books, you know? Ah, yes. 800, 900 on the books. And 800, 900 children in the dons. Allegedly. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's not a democracy and it's not a member of the United Nations. Mm. It is not a member of the EU, although they use the EU. And, um, yeah, the, no, the Pope isn't considered a king. He's the Vatican City and the Holy See. So we mean by Holy See, like we'll get into that. Okay, fucking... so it's not a body of water. No. Okay, and it's not a fucking. Anyway, I'm not going to go into it. But... It's a body of lies. Come on, do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so why the fuck is this city? Why was this city established? Why is this Vatican City a thing? Right. So to comprehend this, we have to go back to when there were papal states. And what they were, were they were states of the church, a series of territories in Italy that were under the direct sovereign rule of the Pope. This is like some fucking supervillain shit. Yeah, like, like Game Lord of, of the Thrones. Rings shit. Yeah. Yeah. So Italy wanted to make Rome the capital city of the country, so they conquered the papal states. And then in that period, the Pope refused to acknowledge Italy, oh my gosh, as the king... <laughs> He refused to acknowledge it and was telling the Catholics of Italy and the ones around the world that he was a prisoner of the kingdom of Italy. Who said that? The poppy. Ah, okay. The poppy seeds. So, the, anyway, popes changed throughout this time, but their resentment towards Italy stayed. Then in comes... It's a me, it's Mussolini. Ah, Benito Mussolini. Mm, no, it's Mexican. Okay. It's me, Mussolini, a minchia. Uh, comes in, chippy chop, here's some fucking dollars, here's some fucking money. Keep your own little shit going on there in the Vatican City, but recognize Italy and you can remain like a sovereign state. Expect me like you expect Jesus. <laughs> yes. Was that from Mussolini? Yeah. Um, as or mentioned... Machiavelli. Ah. And we'll leave it at that. Yeah. All over your body. And um, as mentioned previously, this Holy See... The Pope is the ruler of this Holy See. So monkey see, monkey do. Holy See is the entity that governs both the actual territory of the Vatican City and the entirety of Roman Catholicism around the world. So the, the Holy See is everyone who's a Catholic around the world, which is like 1.2 billion people. So the Pope is the ruler of 1.2 billion people, one of the biggest population states, if you collectively include everyone around the world. And you know what people do with rulers? They measure their dicks. Okay, I was going to say they draw lines. Okay. So yeah, there we go. We've got that fucking, that's a holy see, that's a Vatican. Yeah. It's more than just a little building the Pope shits in. It's um, it's a religion, it's a cult following that spans the world. Well, here's the thing. Um, back in the day, I'm going to hit you up with some history. Um, you know, back in the day when every when Christianity was Christianity. It wasn't like 700 different religions. Offshoots and shit yeah. off the of main belief, yeah. yeah. It was just one. So what happens? The main s separation was the um, with the Eastern Orthodox and the Western uh, Catholic churches. Eastern uh, boys and Western girls. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and there was no synthesizer back in those mm, days, yeah. Unfortunately. Because it was always on my mind. But um, we have the reason for the split was because they wanted the Pope to be like the king of all, like, you know, like... All religions? Like, no, just in creation. They, they wanted him to be, like, pretty much equal with, like, Jesus. Like, they want people to worship the Pope. Yeah. They wanted him to, they, people to, like, believe the Pope. They believe the Pope could do miracles and stuff like that. And then that's when, like, the Orthodox came in and they said, nah, this is rubbish. Big divide. See you later, Greenbacks. Then comes in Martin Luther, not the black one, the uh, OG, not the king, not not the king. Um, this was an interesting one when the whole Protestant church started, was because um, the Pope was very uh, 
high up family back in the day, Pope Leo X. He, uh, what's what an it? arrogant, like, the 10th, mm. so they went through the name 10 times, like, no, you are Leo X. No, yeah. you are Leo X. Yeah. No, you are the, wait, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sorry. They went through 10 mm. and they put a fucking number on them. Yeah. So how arrogant do you be to pass that name down? Well, this guy was in the family, the Medici family. Ah, Medici. The Medici Bank. Bring us a beer, sir. Who, uh, who uh, what's it called? They painted the whole, uh, or they funded the uh, the actual, you know, the whole Sistine Chapel, Michelangelo, David, let's say Rockefeller, David Da Vinci. Yeah. <laughs> um, what's it called? Yeah, so the Pope pretty much said, because they had a thing back in the day called indulgences. This wasn't when you had Splurges. like... Splurges. It wasn't, yeah. Back in the day, it wasn't classified as a splurge yeah. but an indulgence was a way to repay your penance and get to heaven so the, the indulgence back in that era was yeah give us money to uh, uh, rebuild this uh, chapel and rebuild the Vatican and you'll get to heaven mm. It's paying. you're paying your ticket to heaven yeah and then uh, in comes Martin Luther goes this is blasphemy um, indirect punch on with Leo the 10th yeah and uh, next thing you know Another offshoot, Protestant Church. Hey. And then um, and then there's a whole King Henry VIII shit when bloke just makes a church because he wanted a divorce. Wanted to get rid of a bitch, so yeah. it makes a religion. It's like, oh, you couldn't get me a, a son. Okay. I'll make my own church so I can divorce you. So that's pretty much the Church of England. But then uh, then they had a little bit of a big buzziness meeting in uh, 1562 when they... Well, who had a, like all their church Look, heads? after after the Church of England, they had a lot of like, uh, you know those, uh, what's that, Assassin's Creed blokes, were they? Temple. Templars. Ass- Assassin Temple. What oh, were they fucking called? Some blokes who wear robes. Yeah, they were, um, can't remember what it was called. Anyway, whatever those Templars or, you know, uh, Crusades, that's right. They had the religious Crusades. So then they're like, oh, uh, He's not. Uh, the England doesn't want to be on the side of the Catholics. They're going to join the Protestants. So they start killing cunts and shit like that. Which is essentially like the same belief system with a different name and a yeah. couple of different tweaks here and there. Mm. So, anyways, that's a brief history of like all these separations. And then uh, most of the Protestants, as you know, went to America, and that's a whole episode on its own. Like what happened there. But with all these schisms. Some may say... Isn't, wait, wait, schism. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my doctor prescribed me, um, diagnosed me with a schism, anal yeah. schism once. Because Sorry, I just thought... I'd... And, and that ties in with the Pope? Mm. How old were you? I was young, uh, 14. Well, there you go. I had an anal schism. It all, it all ties in together. But here's the, where it's interesting. If you translate Vatican, you know what it actually means? The divine serpent... Serpent, yeah. like a snake. Mm. And um, I'll chuck some images on this uh, nice green screen we have behind us. High-tech shit behind yeah. us. Um, if you look at some rooms designed in the Vatican, they actually look very snake-esque. Some may say the real headquarters of Slytherin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Scared Potter. Mm. You wish. But only Slytherin... I'd be scared if I was in... Yeah, go only on. Only Slytherin is when George Pill enters your son's bed. Mm. And he's slithering in there like the snake he is with his tongue wrapping around some willies. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Allegedly. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's how the, the, the divine serpent, why is it called that? Who the fuck knows? Is there a reason to it? I don't know. If you look at Bible passages and prophecies, they say a divine serpent will be the way for the revelation. So is the Vatican got a big part in this whole new world order, end of world end of times, end of days, the world is not enough. The dream times, yeah. rainbow serpent. The fat and juicy place. Um, who knows? But only time can tell. And that rolls down to other things that the Vatican has been... Um, here's another thing that I'm trying to say. We're not having a dig at the Catholic Church. We're not. We're just having a dig at the corrupt people. In the Vatican. Yeah. Because when you're the leader of a church, and it's, the, like you said, the biggest church in... or religion in the world and a lot of people were like all these grandparents and old people who are trying to be religious and trying to follow something and be like yes we have to do this where the church says so when the church says things like 
you can't get to heaven because you need to get a COVID vaccine. What's going on there? It starts to make you think, this isn't bullshit. I've got the links, I've got the documents that say it. Yeah, like this isn't a, a, a dig on religion. It's because religion does teach good life values yeah. and a good, um, there's a good moral story and good um, guidelines for life, right? Yeah. But the people that get in there and try to manipulate for monetary gain, for 100%. desires and shit, that's what we're having a dig at. But yeah. Like when Pope Francis comes in and goes, oh yeah, you need your COVID vaccine to get to heaven. Oh, like, buddy. what the hell? So you're in hell then, cunt. Are you serious? And then you say, and then he comes and says things like, oh, there's no such thing as the afterlife. That's just millions of be- years of beliefs. or Wait, he actually said that? Yeah. I've, I've, I've just go on the show notes. I've, got, I've put them all in there. Then they, then they got uh, Pope John Paul II and then Francis coming in and saying, uh, yeah, uh, evolution and Darwinism happened. Which what happened to Contrary to the beliefs of Christianity. Yeah. And then, um, this, and then, and then they're getting like these two cunts coming in and saying, oh, yeah, I'm going to change the Bible a bit. I'm going to say it's like the legit Bible. And they start promoting this Bible, which um, sort of rips out chapters of the original. Chippy choppy, out the malopi. Out the malopi, see you later. And, uh, yeah, and then like, like, yeah, this is your new Bible now. Like, just... Seems like the know. church has got a leftist agenda, to be honest. Mm. Very influenced by left politics, I might say. And, did you, and speaking of left politics... In uh, USA, there was a whole split with uh, the church, with the Vatican uh, Church and Vatican City at one time because uh, apparently they were involved in the assassination of Abraham Lincoln because uh, the Vatican was funding the Confederate war or some shit. And then America's like, all right, see you later. We don't want to do any buzziness with you anymore. In comes your mate, Ronald Reagan. Some may say best president in the world. Some would say worst. And um, he sort of ties a relation with the Vatican again. And ever since then, some say whenever a president gets sworn in, he's facing the obsolic, a.k.a. Washington's erection towel. Mm. As there is one in the Vatican, yeah, and yeah, as they is. face it. Interesting. And why would you be influenced in staring at something that's very penis-shaped? Well, I would. Just for the curiosity. And speaking of curiosity, let's go back to this holy land, the land where the fucking second in charge of this religion, or second to God, as they would put it, right? The Pope. The Pope lives the Vatican. There was a big leak scandal back in the day, right? The Vatican leak scandal. Have you heard about it? No, because they probably covered that shit up. So the Vatican leak scandal, also known as Vatty Leaks, uh-huh. that's what I'm talking about, vaginal, v- vaginal discharge. Um <laughs> Is a scandal initially involving leaked Vatican documents exposing corruption. So this was initially brought forward by this Italian journalist. Name, please. Gianluigi Nuzzi. Out of ten. Four and a half. I'll take a ten. Um, anyway, he uh, published letters from Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigiano. Okay. Um, Vigiano. 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 In which he exposed corruption that cost the Holy See millions. I'd like to see the tax receipt on that, please. Um, the scandal first came to light around 2012 because of this fucking 60 Minutes kind of thing, this TV program in Italy called The Untouchables. That's um, that's a gangster movie with Al Capone. Mm-hmm. Okay, funny how. Funny how. Go on. And escalated when he released a book um, which basically had all these fucking confidential letters and memos. So what was in what were in these leaks, right? Well, something that came out from it. Vatican properties used as brothels and massage parlors where priests pay for sex. Interesting. I thought I was supposed to abstain, no? What happens in the Vatican? Like you said, it's its own city, state, country, they keep government, it locked buzziness. down. So they owned properties in Rome and they were operating saunas and ah. massage parlors where priests pay for sex. Hmm, interesting. I guess God turns a blind eye to that fucking door. You'd also claim the Vatican officials are allowing buildings to be rented out as favors to powerful colleagues and turning a blind, blind eye to shady property deals. So what you're trying to say is uh, saunas in the Vatican for priests, mm-hmm. a.k.a. all male, mm-hmm. a.k.a. a bit, how you going there, little boy? There's a snake in my ass. Mm-hmm. 
So, two, two years ago, it emerged that the Vatican had purchased a 23 million euro share of a Rome apartment block. And I got the address right here. <laughs> to Via Cartucci, which housed the Europa Multi Club. And some people might know what this Multi Club is. And if you do, shame on you, because it is Europe's biggest gay sauna. Ah. And where is it? You said in Italy, in Rome, Vatican. Yeah. Ah. So now, and there's apparently um, eyewitness accounts of um, priests and um, being spotted going in there. And they were, on their website, they advertise bear nights. And there's a video of a man stripping down and changing into a priest's outfit. The lack of the sauce ish. And um, yeah, that's just some of the shit that came out of the leaks. As long as money laundering. Ah, there's, yeah. A lot of, yeah, there's a lot of shit that's going down. But. One of the most criticized aspects of this whole Vatican Catholicism shit is um, the priests see uh, something they like that's a bit young, young, and yeah. they touch you. So, like as uh, David Bowie famously sung, "What are you doing, young our altar boy? You're looking kind of pretty. Why don't you see me in Vatican City?" Sucking on this titty. And that's oh, straight from the horse's mouth. So, yeah, there's a big... There's a big um, child pornography, child abuse... Syndicate. That, that runs rampant. And it's been brought to light many times. But people choose not to acknowledge it, I guess. Turn a blind eye. Like turn it, yeah, turn a blind eye. So, we've got a story here. Um, Archbishop Joseph Mengele Wazolowski stored over a hundred thousand child porn videos. That, that's a lot. A hundred thousand. Like, Man, I can't. Anyway, he must well, have yeah, that. I was going to say, like you know, when I watch a porn, I'll just watch. I'll, I'll watch ten. And you just start look, rotating. And back to I'm, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Most guys have a probably stash of like five to ten videos just saved on their computer, just in case shit goes wrong. There's an EMP strike. The internet goes down. Yeah. You got to rob one out. Yeah. So you got the emergency files that you don't watch if the internet's working. Yeah. You don't touch them. Mm -hmm. But in case, but this guy's got a hundred thousand. So yeah. Would you, how would you choose? I'm like, hmm, like, is it alphabetically sorted? Is it by uh, genre? Is it like, you know? It's... I don't know. This guy was a sick fuck though. He's a sixty-six year old fuckwit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fucking pedophile. who was arrested. Yeah. And um, apparently he was distributing. Tens of thousands of fucking child porn videos and photos on a computer in his office at the Holy See. So he thought, oh yeah, I'm surrounded by, I'm fucking, I'm surrounded by the, by the boys. Yeah, the just, boys. Yeah, they're the boys. Let me distribute these boys out yeah. there. Fuck with. Um, so yeah, he's the highest ranking Vatican official ever to be investigated for sex abuse and the first top powerful representative to receive a defrocking sentence. I guess that means he can't frock anymore, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he was also charged with sexually abusing minors and and uh, might face up to might look might face up to seven years in jail for abusing minors and having a hundred thousand anyway. Seven years, huh? Shows, mate, shows. Hundred and sixty videos showing teenage boys forced to perform sexual acts on themselves and on adults. I'm not gonna go into details, but it's fucking sick. Reminds me of that fucking Franklin cover up. Mm. And uh, he had a little secondary laptop when he would go overseas, a little yeah. fucking EPC for his EP, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> With a fucking backup fucking videos on that shit. His e penis. <laughs> e penis, mate. Uh, and then there, there was that whole fucking investigation in Pennsylvania. Did you hear about that shit? Uh, yeah, that was a big chungus uh, takedown on like pretty much a lot of catholic priests in these. in pennsylvania alone they had an investigation 300 catholic priests sexually abused a thousand children well wow. you want to you want to have um some of that holy communion want a bit of that wine in the fucking body of god get that fucking i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say it so the catholic church is also uh, apparently they're responsible for multiple deaths as well from Sexual abuse victims fucking killing themselves, taking the you know, suicide from the abuse they suffered. There's like a massive report with details. Priests were raping little boys and girls. Um, that, and the cover up from the other priests, even though they didn't partake in the, in the atrocities that were covering it up, right? 
So Pittsburgh was a fucking hotspot. But do you reckon these guys are like, all right, they, there's heavily involved in like uh, pedophilia and all this shit. And like, what, what do you reckon goes through their minds? Is it just like, all right, I'm going to uh, sexually abuse this kid. But then it's all good because I'm going to go confess it. And then I'm going to do it again. But then like, I'll, I'll, I'll confess it. Yeah. And you know what the fuck thing was? Yeah. They, like they used to select kids and they used to like give them a cross. You know, claim they claim the fucking kid, and they let other priests know this one has been ah yes abused. Very scary like, stuff. Yeah, in uh, Pennsylvania, maybe that's why there was a development of the uh, Pennsylvania Psycho Ward and, for and the that, real life Hannibal Lecter's. Yes, which crosses with why they casted Anthony Hopkins to play as Pope Benedict the Sixteenth in a movie that came out not long ago. See you later, Anthony Hopkins. There you go. The dog. Actually, he's not bad. Um, so, yeah. We're going to... Pe- from Pennsylvania, catch a plane. Let's go to a fucking Australia. Let's go to Melbourne, mate. George Pell. What's going on, buddy? George Pell. Who is Cardinal George Pell? Well, he was pretty fucking high up, mate. He was essentially the treasurer of the Vatican and the Holy See in Rome. Little fucking Pelly See, boy. I, I didn't know that he was that high up in the, uh, in the uh, molestation chain. Yes, it makes him one of the most powerful Catholics. Mm. George if Pell. You control the money, as the Rothschild mm. said. You control the children, as the Catholics <laughs> say. So, he was a long-time confidant to Pope Francis. Um, and then he was appointed to the Vatican in 2014. And, and then yeah. the rest is history. We saw his uh, in and out of court cases, like his in and out of children. Mm. So... What happened to George Pearl, right? He was in the Vatican. These allegations come out. They were under suppression for a while, like court suppression. Act. Oh, yes, like Paul Keating. I threw yeah, the but then what, <laughs> then what happened, right? The allegations came out. He was sentenced to six years because he jerked off in front of a child mm. and apparently penetrated two other children. Wow. So three years and eight months non-parole period. Cool, bro. Like, what the fuck is that? That's nothing. It's a slap on the wrist. Anyway, he was convicted of abusing two boys. He had caught drinking sacramental wine in a room near the cathedral in late 1996 as hundreds of worshippers were streaming out of Sunday service. Mm. Sneaks in the back, sees a couple of kids getting a bit tipsy. On the port. On the port. That sweet, sweet port. Mm. And then he takes, takes down his pants and have a look at these sweet, sweet, sweet peas. <laughs> well, peas, I mean penis. Um, so yeah, he was also found guilty of assaulting one of the boys in a corridor more than a month later. Trapped him in a corridor, pins him up against the wall. I oh, fucking, I'm not going to fucking go in there, but you can put it together. He was actually convicted of five offenses in December, but they were kept, as I said, they were kept secret because they were f- like those fees circulating that it might um, affect his second trial because he was charged on two separate trials, right? And although these charges now have been dropped. And he caught a fucking direct express mm, flight yeah. back to the fucking vat. With the boys. With the boys. And so that's straight up, straight away, big buzziness meeting with the Jesuit soldier. Yeah, but it's weird, right? Because he was unanimously convicted by the jury, right? The jury agreed, guilty. Victoria Court ruled him guilty. But then Supreme Court, nah, mate, go back to your fucking vat. See you later. But then this comes through. That a fucking $1.8 billion transfer from the Vatican... Big drop. ...to Australia. That's it. We're paying for your boy. He's an expensive boy. Yeah. Keep your Dan Andrews and we'll break his neck later. Push him down the stairs. Mm. So we see fucking what Pell's value is. $1.8 billion, huh? Looks like it. How many skeletons does he have in his closet? Not as much as... Um, Stevie Wonder? Mother Teresa. Mother, another fucking... <laughs> This isn't even... Uh, let me fucking educate you on Mother Teresa. All right? This bitch was a child traffic. I'm, I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> <laughs> Say what you want, but she was selling babies and funneling between 50 to 100 million a year to the Vatican. And this is not alleged. Didn't Be- they uh, make her a saint as well? Because she was... A, mm, yes, they did. Mm. Accused of torturing people in like 2000, 2007... I'm not going to get into that. It's pretty deep. But 2012, she def- she defended multiple priests who were convicted of pedophilia. And that reminds me of something what George Pearl said. 
He was covering up some pedophilia shit as well. I think they were all covering pedophilia And then what, what did he say? It's not our fault. It's like if a truck driver rapes a fucking woman. You're going to bl- fucking... The, like, you know. the trucking company? Yeah. Yeah. But you hit a cunt. And then 2018, what happens? See you later, Mother Teresa hits a backslide. <laughs> but then her homes are inspected amid baby-selling scandals. Mm. I'm a Sam, I'm a Sam, I'm a Mother Teresa. And um, <laughs> yeah, so the Vatican also... Some fucking treasurer got fucking arrested. He's 81 years old. Chuck him in the slammer for nine years for fucking money laundering. They were doing this big chunk of money laundering business. But it's very interesting because, you know, um, some may say the kings of money laundering or extortion, the mafia, also based in Italy, is uh, involved in uh, using the Vatican Bank since the Vatican has its own bank. ROI, whatever the fuck it's yeah. called, religious or some shit. Some shit, yeah. To get their uh, loans, because who's going to give a loan to the mafia? Which bank is? Hey, Tony, Tony, give me the fucking money. Yeah. (laughs) The mafia is. Mm. Hey, I want my money. What are you talking about? I want my money now. What a pepperoni. Yeah. yeah, Anyway, so... um, But wait, we're talking about Italian mafia, not the fucking... New York. (laughs) Anyway, so besides the point, like the... uh, Ciao bello, yeah. stronzo, eh, stracciatella, eh, gelato. <laughs> and, that's, and that translates to, I want my Give money. my fucking chalk chip yeah. money. That's it. So, um, and uh, if we have the Italian viewers that can back us up on this. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, so they ask the Vatican. So when you have a corrupt organization like the mafia, where else would you get your money from? Yeah, let's go to a corrupt bank, the Vatican Bank. No taxes. That's it. Who's who's um auditing their finances? George Pill. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> so um, what's it called? Yeah. So uh, I. That's very. <laughs> that's very interesting. But um, I tell you what else is very interesting. What which I uh, wanted to bring up. <laughs> yeah. You now you said a whole Vatican leaks with uh, the which. You, pretty much caused or that was the whole backstory i just got into a couple of examples because if i got into the whole valley leaks it's a mm-hmm. fucking three hour fucking episode yeah uh they that was um pretty much the stepping stone for stepping down from uh, pope benedict the 16. Mm. the first pope to step down in over 600 years yeah and um what's happening poppy the jesuits are coming back in so then now uh, we get um, i'm talking about pope benedict mm. benedict sorry being not eggs benedict been in but they're both just as creamy as each other yeah i agree have you seen him without makeup on pope benedict yep looks like a looks like he's been gargoyle kissed by the flames of satan Mm -hmm. i agree so who is this man some may say one alleged nazi well not alleged he when he was 14 years old he served in the nazi youth Mm. but you know there was more like a conscription back then it's more like just joining the scouts yeah he had no choice to be honest yeah so, uh, Nazi Pope Joseph Ratzinger, who later became uh, Pope Ex Benedict, Ex Benedict the Sixteenth, yeah. <laughs> and um, he, like you said, he was the first pope in a long, long time to uh, step down to the Jesuit soldier, Mister Papa Francis Mario Bergoglio Francis, mm. is a Latin Jesuit name, and. Um, Apparently, he was in a in a gang called the Ninth Circle. Who was it? Who Egg Benedict? <laughs> yeah. So, um, what is this so, Ninth Circle? circle is? is that like um that comedy special by that fucking? Anyway, can I continue. Know going, but anyway, um, so the Ninth Circle is um some elite in uh Europe. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Who are uh, they use a Rothschild chateau? They just release like a bunch of <laughs> naked people in the fortress. It's like hide and seek? Yeah. And they just start hunting them. Humping them? Yeah. Humping. Humping and hunting. Oh, it's like one of those Hunger Game things. Yeah. So I don't know to what extent this is. Yeah. True. But I thought Pope Benedict <laughs> stepped down amid the, not allegations, amid the fucking. 231 children who were abused at the Catholic boys' choir run by his brother. So you got another tie-in. 
oh yeah, I'll bring you in the business, bring you in the buzziness, I'll hook you up with a job. Get the choir boys, run to paradise, Nick Skits remix, mm-hmm. and have a nice day. <laughs> what's, that, what's that Arnold Schwarzenegger choir boy quote? Don't know. Which one? Fuck, I forgot it. Arnold Schwarzenegger quote. Yeah, he's like, a, I'm a choir boy. <laughs> oh, that was bad. My nose is blocked. <laughs> Fuck, anyway, there's Arnold Schwarzenegger quote somewhere there. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, and... um. <laughs> what do you say? You're a f- <laughs> I can't do it. You're a fucking. Oh no, <laughs> I'm cutting that out. All right, but um, yeah, but isn't that interesting that like these guys are uh, hunting kids? <laughs> this this has taken a fucking strange turn. This episode. Listen, what we're just trying to say is, is look look after your ch- wait no, do not leave them unattended. Around Catholic priests. Do not leave your children unattended around Catholic priests because there's a higher concentration of shady shit going on. The Vatican City is a fucking criminal hotspot. We're not fucking making this up. There's documents out there. As Arnold Schwarzenegger said, come on, do it. Kill the priests. <laughs> that was good. Um, yeah, but um, sorry to go back to this st- stupid topic, but. <laughs> This hunting game in this Rothschild. Well, you, you're gonna go. You're actually gonna go deep with this one. <laughs> well, um, it, it seems like uh, there's many other famous faces involved. Um, what is? What's going on? Like Enlighten me. The uh, Prince of Holland and uh, Prince Philip and the Queen. Look, look. These are outrageous allegations. Like, are there any? Is there any solid basis to them? I've got a. You're uh, saying there's a mansion where people will just let loose naked and then they walk. Prince Philip can't even drive a car. He's going in there slaughtering people. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know. We'll chuck it in the show notes. But um, yes, they've uh, they're, they're uh, in trouble with these people for uh, crimes against humanity, for uh, hunting naked people in a Rothschild well, yeah. mansion. Okay, are you, are you saying that's why Pope Francis stepped down? <laughs> oh, sorry, Pope, Pope Benedict st- stepped down. No, I'm just saying about his past, like his uh, oh. recreational activities, what he likes to do. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Well. Well, we know what his brother likes to do. That's, yeah. that's fucking documented. Yeah. And he likes to cover it up as well. That's yeah. why he fucking took the steep dive off the fucking Pope. Oh, Holy he's still seat. alive though. No, but oh, like off the Popey title, mm. Monica. Monica? I don't know. You know, but, like, you know what I mean by... Yeah, <laughs> but um, the... What I'm trying to get at is with the children he caught he used their skin. What's going on? Human leather to make some red shoes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> Merry Easter. Merry Easter. Happy to, festivities. <laughs> to everyone. Uh, happy birthday, Jesus. No, it's his death. Okay. Um, resurrection. Yep. Born again. Second birthday. Um, ghostnutspodcast.com. Check us out on BitChute, Twitter, and that's it. <laughs> YouTube. Now nah, look, um, just go on ghostnutspodcast.com. We're shattered on like pretty much every platform. Because, Spotify, like, Apple Podcasts, yeah. Google Podcasts. Apple, that's yep. Yeah. Like the apple that Eve bit into that started the non-Catholic creationism because they followed darwinism evolution oh, oh that's where the snake comes from yes the symbolism the divine serpent mm. very good yeah and with that fuck um see you later i guess and as they say in the vatican once you suck that you, you can you empty the sack mm. wait um, see you guys. Ghost, 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 motherfucker. Ghost Nuts Podcast, boys. Are they discussing this on the Ghost Nuts Podcast? Are you? You guys need to break this fucking down. This is a chopper! Kill your fucking selves, you fucking globals! We can't see them. They can't see us. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. God, I love those ghost nuts.